Now coming to the ECG, you all might be knowing some of the basic stuffs, but I'm just giving you some more, inf I mean, just an organized basic information regarding ECG. You all might be knowing these things, but just to brush up, a large number of cells in the heart rhythmically depolarize with each contraction. We can record the electrical changes on our body surface. So, you know, depolarization is nothing but an electrical impulse. Sometimes the ions will be moving in and out. So depolarization is nothing but usually uh, there will be change in the ions, like the flow of the ions. In cardiac muscle, uh, during depolarization, what happens? Mainly the sodium will be moving in and the potassium will be moving out. So there will be Na plus influx. So due to these things, due to the electrical activity happening inside the heart, it can be recorded. That is electrocardiogram. You all know this. Now, electrocardiogram and heart rate. The SA node is the first part of the heart to show electrical activity. We already told SA node is the first part which shows electrical activity and it corresponds to the P wave. You can see here P wave. So SA node, when it activates, when the electrical activity starts, in other words, the electrical activity, the initiation of electrical activity is called as depolarization. So normally during depolarization, there will be influx of sodium ions, right? So during this phase, there will be uh, SA node activation and the P wave formation. And followed by, there is a brief pause and then the AV node, bundle of his and Purkinje fibers fire in succession. That is called as QRS complex. So just see this picture. When the SA node starts, it corresponds, it initiates the starting, that is the P wave. You know the P wave in ECG. Then after that, AV node, you can see in the picture, AV node, bundle of his and the left and the right branches. These structures which I've highlighted here, when these three start firing together from SA node, it comes down. So this aspect, the three parts, bundle of his, AV node, bundle of his, and the left and right bundle branches. When these three are stimulated, it corresponds to which wave? It corresponds to QRS complex. You can see in the picture, uh, just concentrate in the picture. SA node is the first part. So see the animation here. When the SA node starts firing, when the SA node starts showing electrical activity, the P wave is uh, prominent. The starting of depolarization, you get P wave. That's also called as atrial depolarization, right? So next, after that, the AB node, see the yellow part in the picture. AV node, bundle of his and the Purkinje fibers together. See the picture, AV node, bundle of his and the Purkinje fibers. When these three start firing, you get the corresponding QRS complex. Is it clear? Now, after that, ventricles will depolarize. The ventricles contract and repolarization happens and that is the T wave. Then next is T wave. Okay. So if you see the picture, this is just a simple representation. Depolarization of atrium is uh, represented by P wave. Then QRS complex represents QRS complex represents depolarization of ventricles. And T wave represents the repolarization of ventricles. Okay, clear, is it clear? When the starting, when there is depolarization of atria, there is P wave formation. Then QRS complex represents the depolarization of ventricles and you have the T wave, which represents repolarization of ventricles. Clear? I'll repeat this again. 
the SA node is the first part of the heart to show electrical activity. So imagine this is SA node, the yellow part highlighted. So when that is activated, when SA node pumps, you can see the yellow thing, you get the P wave. Then next, there is a brief pause and then the AV node, bundle of his and the Perkin G fibers. You see the yellow thing, AV node, bundle of his and the Perkin G fibers. When these three start firing together in succession, the succession, there will be QRS complex. Next, you have T wave formation when the ventricles will repolarize. Clear? Any doubts? So this is in nutshell, the P, QRS and T. Is it clear for all? Okay. Now, I have a question here. I told P wave is depolarization of atria and QRS is depolarization of ventricles. What is this interval, PR interval? P and R, in between P and in between R. What is this interval called as? What is PR interval called as? What is it basically? What does it represent? Can anybody tell? PR interval. Which conduction it is? It is not nodal relay, it is AV conduction, atrioventricular conduction time. Okay. So PR interval, you see in the picture. See this picture. From SA node to AV node. This conduction is there, right? here and from down. So this conduction, nodal conduction is denoted by PR interval. Okay, that is also important. So please be familiar with the major aspects of ECG. It is very commonly asked, depolarization of atria is represented by, repolarization of ventricles is represented by, or QRS corresponds to. We can twist and ask in any way. So please remember this, very, very important. Now coming to the ECG recordings, uh, you all know ECG, but just some important things to sum up. You have three bipolar leads. So you have three bipolar leads. To understand the three bipolar limb leads, this is left atrium, left arm, sorry, not left atrium. This is left arm, right arm, the lower limb, right? So how do you position the limb bleeds? You know, limb bleeds is, it corresponds to the limbs. Left arm, right arm, and the left leg, three. So lead one is, you see in the picture, right arm versus left arm. It records the electrical activity from right arm to the left arm, this side. Can you see the picture, the arrow? That is the position. Next, you have right arm and left leg. You see the arrow like this. And you have the third one, left arm to left leg, this way left arm to left leg. This is the direction of arrow. So you have three bipolar limb leads. I repeat, see the picture. Generally you have, it's like a triad, right? You are trying to record the electrical potential. So you have the left arm, right arm and the left leg. So the first one, right arm to left arm, see in the picture. Next is right arm to left leg. That's again a positive wave. And the third one, left arm to left leg. That is again a positive wave. And augmented limb bleeds, that is called AVR. Augmented leads means, what is the meaning of augmented? Augmented means corrected. So augmented limb bleeds, AVR is, AVR, 
you have AVL, AVR, AVL, and AVF. So you can see here the first one AVR. AVR is see this picture left arm and left leg versus right arm this way. This one versus this. And the second one is right arm and left leg versus left. So what is important here is R is for right. So it, it used to be, I mean, you should compare it with right. Here, this is L. And here you should compare it with L. And the AVF, right arm and right uh, left arm with the limb blade. Okay. So please remember, these are the augmented leads. So how many leads? We have discussed three bipolar limb leads, one, two, and three, and three augmented limb leads. Augmented means corrected, AVR, AVL, and AVF. So the normally ECG has, right? So these are the six ones. Next is chest lead. The chest leads from the sternum. Towards the right side of the sternum, you have V1. And towards the left side of the sternum, you have V2. Then till your uh, axilla, you just continue like V3, V4, V5, and V6. So that is how the chest leads are uh, recorded. V1, right side of sternum. V2, left side of sternum. Then you have V3, V4, V5, and V6. So that is how the six chest leads are placed. V1 is right side of sternum. V2 is left side of sternum. Towards the, usually the second intercostal way. Then, uh, not second, a little below. Then you have V2, V3, V4, V5, and V6. So total six leads here and six leads here. So total you have 12 lead chest ECG. So see in the picture, ECG recordings, bipolar limb bleeds, right arm, left arm, left leg. So one, two, and three. One is right arm and left arm. Two is right arm and left leg. And three is left arm and left leg. So if I want to represent, see how I'm drawing. One is right arm to left arm. That is the first lead. Second lead is right arm to left leg. And the third is left arm to left leg. So why I'm following this order is because you see the direction of arrow, your heart is in this way, right? So if you represent this way, you can record the potential exactly. Now, augmented leads, I've already told, there are three and precordial chest leads, indifferent electrode, right arm, left arm, left leg versus chest lead, position V1 to V6, in this way. This is regarding the placement of leads in ECG. Again, this is very, very important for you. Okay, please remember the leads where it is placed and which electrical activity it records. Clear? Now, there is one more term called QRS axis. Can anybody reply what is a normal QRS axis? Please reply in the chat box. What is the normal QRS axis? What is the normal QRS axis? Yeah, the correct answer is minus 32 plus 110 degree. So please remember, this is again important in ECG. The normal electrical axis of the heart, that is also called as the mean electrical axis or mean QRS vector. It lies between minus 30 degrees and plus 100 degrees. 100 or 110, actually, it is a mistake. So the normal electrical axis of the heart, that is the QRS wave, actually. It lies between minus 30 degree and plus 110 degrees. So this is called the normal axis of the heart. And if the axis is more negative than 30 degrees, it is called as left axis deviation. 
And if the axis is more than plus 100 or 110 degrees, that is, it is more positive, and this is called as right axis deviation. Is it clear? The normal axis, the QRS axis is minus 32 plus 110, right? So the normal axis, the normal electrical activity axis is minus 32 plus 110. And if it is below minus 30, it is called as left axis deviation. And if it is above 110, it is right axis deviation. Is it clear? So again, this is an important MCQ, not only MCQ, like in medicine, it again comes like, what is left axis deviation? What is right, right axis deviation? Left axis deviation means the heart is tilted more towards left. I mean, the electrical activity actually, not the heart as such. Right axis deviation means the electrical activity is shifted more towards the right side. Is it clear? Any doubts? Can I continue? So please remember the cutoff values, that's it. Okay. Now, method of 